Welcome to New Moon Math. Today we're going to talk about reducing fractions, and this is method two. And you can also go back and refer to the divisibility rules. I have two videos on those also. So let's start with a quick example. 16 over 120. I'm going to do a factor tree for 16. 4 times 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I have a 2, 2, 2, and a 2 on the top. And then I'm going to take 120 and I'm going to make a factor tree. 10 times 12, 2 times 5, 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So I have 2, 2, 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 3. Prime factorization, I cancel common factors and I'm left with 2 over 5 times 3, or 2 fifteenths. Okay, let's go through the rules, and then I'm going to come back and do a slow version. So, the rules for this method are first start with a factor tree. And there is an example of a video on factoring. So, go back and refer if you're having trouble with a factor tree. Once you write them out, you're actually going to list them, all of the factors, um, on the top, which is the numerator, and all the factors on the bottom, which is the denominator. Then you get to do the fun part. You get to cancel out. Anything that is common to the top gets canceled with anything common to the bottom. So this is my favorite part, get cancel happy. And then you're just going to multiply the remaining factors together. So let's slow it down and go back through our two examples here. So let's take 16 and make a factor tree. Okay, last time I factored 16 as 4 times 4. This time I'm going to factor it as 2 times 8, just to show you it doesn't matter. So 2 times 8, 2 is prime, so I stop that part of my factor tree. And then 2 times 4, 2 is prime, and then 4 factors down to 2 times 2. So my prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I'm going to write that in my numerator, or on the top. Now let's take 120 and make a factor tree. So 120, I like to start with 10. I know that um, based on divisibility rules, I have a zero at the back. I know 10 is a factor. So 10 times 12, and then 10 factors down to 2 times 5. And those two are prime, so I'm going to stop and underline those. And then 12 is, let's take 3 times 4. 3 is prime, and then 4 breaks down one more time to 2 times 2. So my prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now comes the fun part. I get to do my canceling. Cancel, 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 cancel. Anything over itself is 1. What have I got left? 2 on the top, and then on the bottom I have 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is 15, so the answer is 2 fifteenths. Hope this was helpful.